to be followed by Rhoda Grant. Ms Maguire. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I am honoured to be called to speak for the first time in our national parliament as the member for, to my mind, the greatest of all Scotland's constituencies, Cunningham South in Ayrshire. I take very seriously the trust placed in me by people of Irvine, Cowinning and Stevenson and pledge to work really hard for them and their families in this parliament and at home in our constituency. It's fitting that I begin by paying tribute to my predecessor, Margaret Burgess. I'm grateful to her for the role she played in our party's successes and the advice and support she gave me personally as a candidate. However, the most important thing to note today is the wonderful job she did as a Member of Parliament representing all the people in Cunningham South. I know there are many, many folk in our constituency who would wish their thanks for her service put on record. As Minister for Housing and Welfare, Margaret oversaw the early achievement of our Government's target of 30,000 affordable homes built. Making sure that everyone has a safe, warm, affordable home is key to making Scotland fairer and more prosperous. I know that Parliament recognises good quality housing helps promote social justice, strengthens communities and tackles inequality, as well, of course, as being good for the economy. I welcome our pledge to build at least 50,000 affordable homes over this term, an important investment of more than £3 billion, supporting 14,000 full-time equivalent jobs and generating £1.8 billion in economic activity. Our Scottish Government has a strong record on the economy and as we move forward we must work together in this place and outside in our communities to build on that through innovation, investment, internationalisation and, crucially for me, tackling inequality. I know that many in this chamber will share my desire to see economic growth that benefits us all, where people have every opportunity to contribute productively and share in the benefits of increased prosperity in our nation. Both sufficiency and security of income are vital to working people. I commend the Government's approach to fair work through the Business Pledge and look forward to encouraging companies in my constituency to get involved. Presiding Officer, our plans to provide flexible, high-quality, state-funded childcare for 30 hours a week for all three- and four-year-olds and vulnerable two-year-olds were confirmed by the Cabinet Secretary as the most important infrastructure project of this Parliament, and they will be transformational. We know that for parents wishing to return to work, particularly women, the high cost of childcare can be a barrier, or see them working for little financial reward, simply to keep their hand in at work. So this universal provision is welcome. Delivering high quality childcare requires a well qualified workforce and in order to provide the flexibility that we've promised, the number of early years workers will need to increase. When planning the workforce, it will be important to remember that many of the women in the early years workforce, and they are predominantly women, will also have caring responsibilities themselves and part time and flexible work requirements should be taken into account. Moving forward, I hope we take the opportunity of this expansion to challenge the gender segregation of the workforce and also address any inequality in paying conditions between the private and public sector. It's clear that we'll need a mixture of providers to achieve our aims for childcare expansion and indeed all aspects of growing our economy will benefit from partnership working between government, local and national agencies and business. In my own constituency, our SNP-led local authority have taken an innovative approach to economic development with the setting up of Team North Ayrshire. And you can check out their activity on Twitter. The team includes North Ayrshire Council, Ayrshire College, the DWP, Third Sector part Partners, Chamber of Commerce, Scottish Enterprise, Skills Development Scotland and local businesses of all sizes um, working together in partnership. Their work includes the trial of an innovation pilot which led to over 80 referrals of innovation support from Scottish Enterprise, provision of a dedicated resource to help social enterprise establish and grow, and support for local businesses to develop export opportunities. With Ayrshire College and North Ayrshire Council working together, we also have a Skills Centre of Excellence in Irvine Royal Academy, offering courses in sport and fitness, health and social care and hospitality engineering foundation apprenticeships are also being offered. 
All this achieved in a somewhat challenging economic climate and showing to my mind that with national and local agencies, public and private sector working together with the local community to build on the strengths that we do have, it is possible to make a difference. Presiding officer, um, I'll just finish by saying that I look forward to working on behalf of the people of Cunningham South positively and constructively with anyone who wishes to build a more productive Fader Scotland. Thank you.